guys, before this um, video starts, my dual threat launcher broke. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to fix that while I'm um, AFK. Um, we have three metal bays here. We have Flash Sagittario, Jade Jupiter, and um, my own little creation here. Um, it's called Ray Libra. I'm going to call that Tornado from now on, and this is WD. So, own little creation I have. And this is a three-part series, Metal Bay versus um, this guy. I bucked his first base here. Um, just going to battle it against every single one. And I think today's video... We're going to start with Ray Libra. That's what it looks like when it spins. Alright, I'm going to fix my launcher and come back. And the launcher we're going to be using for this one is the Power Launcher with the Excalius Sword Set cord because that gives it more power. And this is a string launcher, so yeah. My string launcher doesn't really work well with left rotation Beyblades, as you can see. So, uh, for my left rotations, I'm going to be using a grip and a white launcher. So, see you guys back when I have a um, my camera set up, my stadium set up, my base set up, and my launcher is fixed. Alright, see you guys then. Alright, we're back. I couldn't fix my launcher, so... Yeah, we're just going to have to use this launcher set up on every single Beyblade now. Correct. Alright, I'm going to start with the single layers and then move up to the switch strikes. Wish I had a turbo bay, but who knows when that's going to happen. Alright. Thought track V1, V... I am going to launch the metal bay first for most of these, just because it's, well, you know, metal. Alright, so, three, two, one, light, rip! I thought that was it. Guys, I bet if I launch it again, I bet it would have the same result. Even with the... Metal Bay is still there. So after I cleaned it back in the bucket, well, I guess there goes Veltriac. So I'm gonna put Veltriac up here because it lost. Look how stabilized that's spinning. Alright, um. Who's next? Trying to figure out. Rock the board. Rock the board is definitely next. But I could get a stronger launch out of this this launcher right here, so I'm gonna try that. But I'll launch it the switch strikes the next time I launch, okay? Three, two, one, look, look. Alright, oh, Rocky Boy's actually staying in the middle where Libra can't hit it. Oh, I was wrong. Rocky Boy's just as stupid as ever. Yeah. Now, with the Switch Strike Launcher and me not launching Libra again. But if it loses, if Libra loses. Jeez! Libra is the winner. Loser. Alright, next switch. No, single layer. 
I think we're gonna do Curbeus. Yeah, Curbeus. Where, Where is he? Curbeus hide from him. Alright. Curbeus? Actually, I'm gonna redo that since Curveus want to get off the launcher. Okay, guys. So. You know what? I'm gonna zoom out again. The race actually did pretty well, but I wonder actually who could beat this bay right here. Three, two, one. So far, they've all burst, except for Kerbet. Come on. Here we go. Moment of truth. Can a bay not burst to a metal bay? Highly doubt it. Unless you're a sturdy defense type. Like the next one in this one. I'm going to have three categories, guys. The one that lost in birth, the one that won, and the one that lost and to a stadium out. Libra. All right, who's next? I know who's next. You fight, bro. Three, two, one. Let, I'm kidding. I was going to launch this guy first. Libra's not that but Libra is not taller than a burst bay. So it can't hit the defense types layers too much. Oh, oh, who's going to win? What? Libra. It's a winner. What? How could this possibly be? All right, so. Okay. All right, I'm going to close the door real quick. All right. Door 
is closed. Um, now that the single layers are over, let's move on to the dual layers. And the number one, hands down, worst single layer that I have is Madman of Boris. Hands down. Let's see how well it does. Did I call you the board to see the way? We were heading for the center while Minabor is circling around. On collisions does body bad. And then Boris has lost both times due to an over finish. So I'll spread these more out. So so far no way has been able to win, even though I launched Libra first, and these should be good. Alright, uh, next let's go Nova Nexus. Balance type day break should be pretty good. Oh, there's a clash. And Libra's gone in the center to defend itself. You know what, guys? You know what? If it beats the dual layers, I'm going to give it an evolution. Like, it beats all the dual layers. Alright, so that was that round. Um, I'm going to keep Libra spinning in there. Went in pocket. Went in the pocket. Let's see that birth meter. Didn't really move that much, so Nephrius is out, and Libra is still spinning. Undefeated champ of single layers. So, let's do, alright, so we're at 13 minutes. Alright, we're going to do Rocktivore, the Ripfire version. Rip fire rock board, even though you can barely see it on camera. But he's it. Oh dang. Rock board hits layers. That's gonna be bad. Ooh. Rock board went down. Let's try it. Pretty good sturdy tip on the bottom. What's the metal layer going to be? Holy crap! One point to Rocktivore, actually. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I thought... Remember what I said at the start of the video? Yeah. Anybody who beats him like that will not be counted because it's like launching him afterwards. So let's go. Next round. goes down. Alright, who's next? Um, let's go with our other ripfire here. We are the 
green glowing nuclear guy. Nuclear Wyvron is what I'm going to call it now. Nuclear Wyvron. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. Alright, rip! I think this is a pretty solid layer, too. And what's great is that Libra is only hitting the metal. So it's like clashing with a metal bay. Wyvron's defending itself. That green glare on the screen, though. I'm going to get the launcher ready real quick. Wyvron's also a dirty layer right there. There goes Wyvron. Let's get him ready for the next launch. And with a 32-1 rip. Now, these are the base I can't relaunch on the because Libra doesn't have enough stamina to face him. Unless you're talking about pressure Doom Sizer, you can do that over and over and over again. And it still would be at most of its health. There's a lot of scratches in this stadium. I wish I could get this perfect angle. Without going to vertical view, but now, all right. So Wyron has been defeated. Bam, bam. Libra is going to the next round. Um, let's do something else. Um, yeah, let's go Hyrus. I think Hyrus won't burst. Air quotes. The quotes that I say that are wrong, I think. Jeez, Hyrus almost won that. See what happens. against all of the dual layers, it would get an evolution from Ray Libra to something else that I can find. Um, who's next? Uh, I'm kind of saving the two that, my first two Beyblades for last, so, um, you go down there, you go down there, you also have dual layer and the stuff that I count as dual layers because they have some gimmicks as dual layers. Wait, guys, I need to fix something real quick. Guys, this is the one I count as a dual layer, but it's technically not. Zerg Excalius X3 without the metal in it. God, please help us out. Okay. And look at this image right here. Let's do it. Why not? Three, two, one, let rip. Third Excalius. What? What? One point to Serge Excalius for a ring out finish. I was not expecting that. First time for him to face 
an attack type. He's been facing basically defense and stamina and balance types. Oh, there goes his top layer. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention he had no screws in this. Please burst. What the heck, man? Now I gotta find that face bolt. I'll be back when I find it. Alright, couldn't find it. We're going face bolt list. Or chip list. Yeah, chip list. Alright. Can we leave him? Shipless? I don't think so. What the frick just happened? Ray Libra won with a burst. Hallelujah. 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 Finally. A burst finish. In forever of not beating Beyblades without burst finishes, we're finally getting to see them again. So, Sir Excalius goes in the burst finish mark. And I messed that up. Get up. Technically, that's not a Beyblade. But, we count it. Alright. Left rotation, Beyblade, incoming. Lost Luminor. I almost call it Longinus. This isn't to care, tell me. It has to be. Ooh, that's not a good position. The first left rotating burst day ever created. People were so hyped in the show about this thing. It was amazing. How it beat Vol Shu, and then it had a very close match with Vol, but still. Um, it just got beaten by a metal bag. No big deal. Please burst. Please. No, no. Join your bursted colleagues. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Luanor. You can join them. And for switch strikes, we're going to actually do it in a switch strike stadium. And Luanor was so close to bursting there. Jeez. But anyway, it lost, so can't do it. Alright, next Vlad that we're going to do is the one, the only, Storm Rising. I'm saving Veldrick V2 for last because I like it better as a set. But still. And we're going in with a crux boost. All you have to do for a crux boost is hold it like this. And then go like that. Like go from this position to this position. But I'll be doing it from an angle so the rubber will actually do a um, full crux boost here. So, yeah. Here we go. It's going to have a hard time beating this. See how surprising it does. Ooh, dang. Well, I guess it's over for surprising. Burst finish, and if you want the code here, I'll show the codes at the end of the video too, so. Don't worry. Um, last dual layer, I believe. 
Yeah, that's the last giveaway. Veltriac V2. I cannot wait to put this thing in. And yes, I put vertical on it because I want to. So don't judge me, man. All right, let's see what the heck Veltriac's going to do in 3, 2, 1, let it rip. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. There goes Veltriac. Oh, it actually didn't go crazy this time. Ooh, that a burst. Well, these are my two oldest bays, so I wouldn't blame them. Well, oldest burst bay. Um, my oldest bay that I still have today is J. Jupiter. But this is now my brother's, so hurrah. Alright, I told him this would be the final time. So let's do this cutaway joke. Evolution? Yeah! Since this is Beyblade Burst Evolution, why can't Libra get an evolution? That's why I made it Galaxy Libra with the exact same combo. But wait, there's more. Goodbye to this WD tip. Gonna get something very special. Bam, whatever this tip is called, it now has it. I think it's the one that comes on desk at the codal. And no, it's not the Quetico that you're thinking of. Bam. This is pretty good right here. Galaxy Libra with a new combo. Alright, so Evolution Stadium, get this giant stadium out of here. We need these battles to be huge. Bam! Starstorm Stadium. Could possibly stay in the middle or go like this. <sighs> Dang it. Gonna have to show them one. We'll start from release dates to um, other stuff. Let's go. I can't figure out fingers. All right, let's go from the worst one in wave one and work our way up. Genesis Veltriac V3 that I've modded and failed so horribly at. All right. Beyblade Burst Evolution. Three, two, one, rip. Let's get some spell tree yet. Huh, it's not bursting. And there it is. And set bays or are a whole different things. And what I mean by set bays, anything that comes in a set, like an actual thing, like the quad ring pack, um, uh, Star Storm. Oh, crap. Now I have to do set base first. Star Storm Stadium. Tower Stadium. You know what? Let's just redo this at a later time, guys. And go for a different bet. Well, that was fun. Wave 1. Frick. Wrong one. I'm just going to get all the set. I'm going to organize all my bays, guys. So, see you then. Alright, first one up in wave one. Let's go to the worst one right now. And yes, I did have a battle in the quad ring pack. If you didn't watch that video, go check out my channel on it. Um, this actually has a quad ring packed um, Rock Devour combo because I gave the original one to the Rock Devour because it beat this one. So, it beat the original. So, let's get on to it. Could this. Galaxy Libra beat the awesome power of Atomic? I don't think so. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Hey, it's supposed to be a defensive type. Let it rip. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Ooh. And that's a burst finish for 
for Galaxy Libra. So now let's move on to the second, um, the Minnow Bay, like kind of the, like not the best, but it's sort of the best. Genesis Veltriac V3. And this is the orange colored one that actually did come in wave one. I found this a random day, like when wave five came out, out of Walmart. Just mixed in there with Boom Kazar and Arc Belkett. So I'm like, man, I gotta get that. That's also the time I got um, Wyvron. So there's Libra. Genesis Veltriac is actually cushioning the attack. Reboot hasn't activated yet. Oh, come on. You've lost enough stamina. There we go. Reboot kind of sucks on this guy. Oh, dang. Veltriac is done for. But not yet because... There's still one more battle to be held. 3, 2, 1, get rip. Jeez, it's hitting that layer repeatedly, trying to get the burst to finish. But will Valtriac take it? Not without a fight. Will it burst? Valtriac will not burst. Didn't even move with those repeated hits. So Veltriac here will not be moving on. And yes, this is um Strike Veltriac's tip because I just wanted to have matching color sets on this Veltriac right here. And yes, this is Genesis Veltriac's um, top layer because does this guy need it? Because <laughs> it's become a recurring joke that that thing sucks. All right, I have low battery, so my flash is down. So, um, yeah. Next Beyblade is Drain Fafnir. Already facing a left rotation. Already facing its second left rotation bay, actually. And since Drain Fafnir can drain, I'm going to send it out first. Let's see if the Drain King goes out there. Out there during Fafnir. Sorry, I would stand out of the way of the shadows. Jeez. And, but it's coming back with its draining ability. But is that enough? I don't know if that will be enough for this Beyblade. No, it is not. 